got a little guest today. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a big giant Brandy Melville haul and I'm super excited because I have been online shopping at Brandy Melville a ton and then I also went into Nordstrom. Nordstrom has like a little Brandy Melville section now and got a whole bunch of stuff there and I've just been kind of having a little bit of Brandy Melville purchases accumulate until I had enough to do a haul. So I'm super excited for this video. Like they just have so much cute stuff all the time and I just can't stop going on their website and as soon as I check their website I always find something I want. And then I find a whole bunch of other stuff I want. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Unfortunately, I don't live by Brandy Melville, which is actually probably fortunate for my bank account. But unfortunate for me because I love shopping there. And, you know, if I'm shopping this much without living by a store, I don't even want to know if I lived in LA by a store or New York. I That would just be so dangerous. And some of this stuff I did get probably a couple months ago, but I don't know what all is available and what's all not because even the stuff I bought like a week ago might not be available because Brandy Melville typically like their stuff sells out really fast but they restock pretty often so I thought I would just show you everything regardless of whether or not it is currently in stock because if you live by store you might be able to find it in a store if you live in Canada Brandy Melville Canada might have it still available and a lot of times even if they're out of it now they could definitely restock in the future so the first item is actually what I'm wearing and this is the alley top and I absolutely love this shirt so much it's super comfy and just kind of like loose fitting and it is a thermal material which is my favorite and I like how the, it has like the little buttons here and it's just super comfy it's definitely been one of my favorite shirts recently like in the last month or so I've worn it so much since getting it and I actually got it in another color and these are pretty similar but I bought one in store at Nordstrom and then I had already ordered this one and I didn't realize how similar they would be but <laughs> the other one is this one which is just slightly more of a gray rather than like a heathered cream kind of color and this one's actually a little bit of a different material this is like an actual fairly like thick waffles kind of like thermal and this one is like a really like lightweight textured material I don't know but they're both kind of thermal but this one's definitely a lot lighter weight and just like generally softer they're both the alley top and I love them both so much they're both really really comfortable and I don't know I just love them next up is this yellow hoodie this is the Christie hoodie and I don't know if the yellow one is still available but I know it's available in other colors and I really like this hoodie I've been wanting kind of like a yellow one and whenever I saw this on the website I just thought it would be super cute and it's like a nice like kind of golden like mustardy yellow rather than like a pastel yellow and it's just a fairly like standard hoodie it's got kind of like a worn kind of feel and look to it almost but I really like it and I think it's really nice and actually American Eagle I will link the American Eagle one in the description box because it's a yellow hoodie I wear this to work and everybody thought it was the American Eagle one because it's so similar next up is this shirt right here I thought this was really cute this is the Alina top I'm pretty sure and um, I really like this as soon as I saw it I was like oh that's so cute with like a little like rainbow flag looking type of thing and it says France 1990. They have this exact same style and pattern and like design I guess on a whole bunch of different styles of shirts. They have it on like a crew neck sweatshirt, a t-shirt, um, another long sleeve shirt that's just a slightly different style so if this exact one's not available I'm sure you can find it in a different style. This one's just a really soft like cottony kind of t-shirt material just like really soft and nice and next up is this sweatshirt which I am really extra obsessed with like I was so excited for this to come in the mail because I saw this on Brandy Melville's website and I fell in love with it but I didn't want to pay shipping for just one item and it was like late at night so I'm like oh I'll look on the website tomorrow and see if I can find some other things before I place an order and then it sold out and I was like super sad so every single day I checked Brandy Melville's website to see if it came back in stock and then eventually one day it did so I finally got it ordered and it's so cute so it's this red crew neck sweatshirt that says California in that really cool font. I just think it's really cute and it's really comfortable. I was wearing this in my morning routine. I don't know. I just really like it. And whenever I wore it to work, everybody complimented it too. So I just think it's super cute. I love red. Like I feel like red is just such a popular color right now. Next up is this Los Angeles t-shirt and it is in the Caitlyn style. And I really, really like this. It's just kind of like a... 
a really standard loose t-shirt like almost just like a Hanes kind of t-shirt just like a plain loose t-shirt and it's really nice I love it it says Los Angeles 1984 with a flag on it and I don't know why I liked this so much but I really really liked this a lot I also think it's really good for layering like I'll wear this with a pair of jeans kind of like tuck it in a little bit with like a black denim jacket or something like that and it's really cute I think it'll be really cute in the summer with like high-waisted shorts as well. So I have a shirt that's like very similar to this and I'm going to have to show you the try-on part because it's currently in the washing machine so I can't really show it to you right now but it's super cute and it's actually a very similar kind of lo like logo design on it as this one but the style was like different enough that I was like I'm just going to get it and I love how it's Los Angeles with the flag. It's just so cute so I don't really care that they're almost both very similar. I particularly like this one that I don't currently have in my hands right now because it's like shorter and cropped and I thought it would also be kind of good for layering. Next up is this Rolling Stones t-shirt and funny story about this. So I have actually wanted this shirt for like two years. So two years ago whenever I was in LA I went to the, it was the Brandy Melville on Santa Monica and I saw this shirt and I thought it was really cute but it was before band tees were really that big and I was like I just feel so dumb wearing a Rolling Stones t-shirt when I don't listen to Rolling Stones. Like I was like I don't know it's just so basic I'm not gonna get it but I loved the t-shirt but I just felt weird wearing a Rolling Stones one when I don't listen to them but then band tees became really big and like everybody was wearing them like who cares if you didn't actually listen to them. So anyways I was like dang I really wish I would have got that Rolling Stones shirt because that is the cutest band tee to ever exist ever. And it was literally sold out for two years. I'm not even kidding you. And then one day, randomly, it was actually in November, it was when I was at, like waiting in line for the Nile concert, I got a notification that a product that I had notified or whatever had finally come back in stock. And I checked and I was like, no way. <laughs> the Rolling Stones shirt from two years ago. And basically, it's just like the perfect fit. Like it's like a loose comfy t-shirt, but it's also really cute at the same time. And I like to like kind of tie it in the front. I think that's what looks really cute. But yeah, it's just a really cute shirt and it was definitely worth the two year wait. Next up is this denim jacket, which I am obsessed with and it is this I think it was called the Betsy jacket but they have other jackets called the Betsy jacket that are like a different style so I'm not exactly sure um but it's this black denim jacket but it's cut off on the bottom so it's got like a raw hem and it's just super cute like it's honestly the perfect fit like it's not too tight or too baggy it's like literally perfect like I'm so 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 obsessed with it I have worn it like so much and I have only had it for like a couple weeks I just love it like so much like I can't even express how obsessed I am with this denim jacket it's probably one of my favorite denim jackets of all time which is saying a lot because I have a lot of denim jackets because they are truly my number one favorite thing to wear which brings me to my next thing and it is this denim jacket and I have been wanting a denim jacket with the white like fur on the inside for like literally forever whenever you order online you never really know how it's gonna fit so i was super excited whenever i got this in the mail because it fit exactly how i was wanting it to like i didn't want it to be like hugely oversized but i didn't really want it to be fitted either but it's just like the perfect fit ever and it's so thick and nice it might be like my number one favorite thing in this entire haul next thing i got is this sweatshirt right here and this is the isabella sweatshirt it is the most heavenly like com most comfortable sweatshirt I've ever worn in my entire life like it's just I don't know how to explain it it's just like a really soft material but it's not like your typical sweatshirt that's like a fairly like almost stiff material it'll be so comfy to wear with like leggings and go to class or just wherever and it's really cute as well and it's just like this nice quarter zip like I might just like live in this for the rest of the winter next up is this sweatshirt another red sweatshirt and this one says usa which is really cute and it's got like these little stars in the obviously like the font or whatever is in red white and blue and it's just very cute very america i just think it's super cute and like i said i love red love sweatshirts and i've been eyeing this one for a really long time now next up and these are some of the things i got from the nordstrom location Sometimes Nordstrom will have like items that are sold out or like have previously sold out on their website. The Nordstrom stores will have stuff that's different than what's on the website. Um, the first thing I got was this right here and very standard, just like a gray thermal, really soft, same material as the other one that's like this style. And I probably didn't need a gray thermal, but it was just a really nice fit because a lot of the ones I have are very loose and very oversized and this one was slightly more fitted. It is just really good to layer with and just lounge around in. So. 
got that next up is this shirt which is really cute and it's kind of different from some of my other stuff and it's like a very soft kind of t-shirt material and it's a long sleeve t-shirt which i am obsessed with and it says malibu cove with a little monkey on it the sleeves say monkey island so i don't know i just think it's really cute and it looks good with jeans and i don't know it's just really comfy i really liked the fit of it it's just like a nice loose comfy fit nice loose kind of long sleeve t-shirt next up is this black long sleeve thermal and i may or may not have this in like every single color it comes in but when I saw that they had it in black, I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm just going to get another one. It's fine. Yes, I have it in white. Yes, I have it in white that says Malibu. Yes, I have it in periwinkle. Yes, I have it in yellow. Yes, I have it in red. Did I say navy? Because I have it in navy. And I literally wear these all the time. Like, you guys know. You guys have, I, ever, I think in every single Brandy Melville haul or any kind of haul, I probably mentioned these because they are truly my favorite shirts ever. I got it in the black color. It's like a little bit of like a faded black but I really like it. Like it looks very worn and faded, but I like that. Next up and last up, actually, before I forget, I also got this necklace, which is really cute. I got this very recently, so it should still be in stock. And it's just this silver kind of dangly mirrored necklace and they're little circles. And I just think it's so cute. Like these kind of necklaces are what I wear like every single day. And like that's like really the only jewelry I wear this and my Danny Wellington watches is like the only jewelry I ever wear. And then last up is this black turtleneck, which is really cute. It's got like the lettuce trim or whatever at the top of the turtleneck. It's like a nice tight fitted um, black turtleneck and I just, and it's really cropped too. I mean, it's not really cropped, but it's fairly cropped. I thought it'd be cute with like, again, kind of like my mom jeans or vintage Levi's or anything like that. Kind of like those bigger, like looser kind of oversized pants. I think of like a tight cropped shirt looks really good with those. I hope you guys enjoyed my giant Brandy Melville haul and I'm sure I can definitely do another one soon because I, I should probably stop. I should definitely probably stop shopping so much at Brandy Melville, but I can't help it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys would like to see another Brandy Melville haul and um, American Eagle haul coming your way. I know a lot of you guys have requested it. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.